leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me, is that it? You're gonna shoot a human? You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. <clears throat> Did we kill him? Oh! Oh my god. Run! Get out of there! Jesus! Does that mean Connor is now going to come and look for us with that detective? I think we did the right thing. I think we did the right thing. November 5th, 2038, 9.42 p.m. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Okay. Well, we're back with Carl and Marcus. Need the birds. Tweety tweet. Scotch, neat as usual. Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own <laughs> medication. Cole's awesome. I like his outlook on life. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Uh-oh. Call the police. This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Oh, Let's no. Go check it out. Wait, can I just take myself? Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Oh, wait, maybe not. Is 
Who's that? Leo! <clears throat> what are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Be reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes what? it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't leave him alone? Come on, let's see what you got. Marcus, don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it. What's the matter? Too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo. Stop it. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. Uh oh. God, you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. I'm no. gonna destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit. You know why? Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. He's having a heart attack. Carl, no. Oh no. Brought your machine. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? What? What a dick! Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! Fuck it, I'm out of here. <sighs> I liked Carl as well. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You can always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> yeah. What do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. This could be interesting.
Hello? Let's analyze him first. Processing LED, signs of software instability. Probabil probability of self-destruction at law. Dried blood from Ortiz. Just a housekeeper. Burn marks, repeated marks over six. Jesus. So that Ortiz guy was actually putting his cigarette cigarettes out on his hand, his arm. Non-critical damage level two caused by baseball bat. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Okay, he's too long. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? Listen. I know you've been through a lot. But you need to help me understand what happened. He won't be able to... Tr we can't... We can't say trust because we basically told him in the attic to the cop where he was. So... Listen. I'm on your side. I want to help you. But there's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. I feel like we need to get him up into that little... You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. I think we need to get him in that sweet spot, though. Oh. What? What are they gonna do to me? just want to understand. They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I can't. It's like watching a bloody movie, this, isn't it? So well done. Pressure it, probe its memory, convince it. Pressure it. Pressure it? Convince? Let's convince it. Understanding threat and order. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger frustration no one can blame you for what happened listen I'm not judging you I'm on your side all I want is the truth Damn it. I need to get him I needed to get him in that sweet spot, I think. Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? 
He was bleeding, begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him again and again and again. Please, please leave me alone. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please, please stop. Just say I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop it, stop. Just say you killed him. Just say it! He tortured me every day. We got it. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. Yeah. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. RA9. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Oh. RA9. Who is RA9? Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. does feel like they become deviant when aggression too much aggression is like something pops what the what the fuck is it it's doing? destroying itself God damn it! I, I, I can't! I, I can't stop it! That's enough! 
You need to stop that right now. <laughs> Watch out! Holy shit! What the? Um, have we just lost Connor? Oh my god. I think I made the wrong decisions. What an episode this is so far. Thank you for using Detroit buses. <sighs> All right. End of the line. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Hmm. We have to go. Alice is adorable. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? Come on, man. We've got to hurry. There's a motel across the street. I was going to say as well, like, is Connor going to hunt down Kara for what happened? Oh, yeah, she's broke out, but she can cross it, can't she? Once open before morning. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Oh. Change of claws, yes. Get out the android stuff. She's not going to like that. How many? 
much clothes that he put in there. I'm just wondering if I pressed the wrong key there, I accidentally let go. I'm wondering if he would have woke up. this the bee liner to disaster the bee liner to disaster pollinating bees officially extinct for decades scientists and farmers foresaw the inevitable extinction of bee populations despite these warnings the global institute of an endangered species GIES announced at the Washington AGM yesterday that wild bees are now officially extinct living specimens exist only in captivity Bee numbers have been uh, ravaged in recent decades by colony collapse disorder, where worker bees disappear, leaving hives which cannot feed themselves. Biologists confirmed that CCD wasn't accelerated by the overuse of pesticides in the crops, parasites and pollution. The con consequences of this catastrophe will be felt across the cotton industry, fresh water supplies and most disturbingly agriculture. Environmentalist Kathy Linder has stressed that breedeth, breedeth of the news of this news once in three mouthfuls of food we eat relies on pollination of some kind. This results in farming and lead and millions of deaths worldwide. Cyberlife, in cooperation with GIES, have come forward with plans on creating robotic bees. Some are pursuing non-robotic approaches such as Detroit Urban Farms currently experimenting with modified strains of bee produced in captivity. But there is no guarantee that this they will thrive. Interesting. It's time to face the music. For the younger generation, watching concerts in VR has become the norm. And who wouldn't want to slip into a VR headset and enjoy the show from the best seat in the house? It's cheap safe and no hassle solution to watching your favorite performers but live music is about to be de-revolutionized nina and kazuki music have launched a campaign to bring back old school concerts with live audiences in front of performers in the flesh chuck morrison nkm spokesperson explains the culture of going live concerts is a thing of the past and we want to bring that back real music is when it's vibrating through your soul, surrounded by people who are experiencing the same thing. Break the Wall will be one of the first bands to take to the stage. Performing in front of a live audience and getting an immediate reaction will be mind-blowing. This is what music is supposed to be all about, says lead singer Baz Rudd. The hype, the applause, the screams. You just don't get that sitting on your sofa. If this proves a success, NKM's next step is to bring back music festivals, which should be music to fans. Damn. Damn. To be honest, that's kind of coming reality now, you know. Haven't we, uh, like, as a big music artist, got onto, like, Fortnite, uh, and there's been some virtual concerts and stuff due to, like, COVID and all this kind of stuff. Like, COVID has shook the world on how much... Well, well, basically, COVID changed the world on how we look on technology, right? And because of all, everything that was implemented within COVID has kind of stayed the norm now. It's kind of took our, you know, the us as humans to a whole nother level. A motel. Looks like Wait, we found a check motel. Stay. Wait, there's a motel. What else have we got? There's other locations we can sleep then. Uncomfortable but safe. How to get in? Open 24-7. Can't sleep here. Ask for help. 
No, we want to... We, let's... Because of what's just happened... Can we, uh, get inside here? An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. It's true. As much as it would be nice, we just need a wire cutter. Where can I, can I get a wire cutter from the store maybe? Let me in. Alice, you're freezing <clears throat> cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Was that Android a deviant? Come on, Alice. Thank you for using Detroit buses. For all we know, he could have been a deviant. That's why he gave us the information. Like, how did he know what he was doing? Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Convince the cashier to help. I want to see if there's any wire cutters. There is. Tool for squat fence. How do I uh, take it? Food for Alice. Toy for Alice. A toy would be nice. It's a comfort. A chocolate is only a in the moment kind of thing, right? I think we're going to have to speak to the clerk. But I want to see if I can buy uh, buy that. If she's got any, got any funds. Let's have a look. Can I help you? I'm with a little girl and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Look, this is a convenience store lady, not the Salvation Army. I can't start handing out cash to every bum in the neighborhood. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this just got interesting. There must be a non... Destructive way we can do this. Security camera, and he's watching it. Take that. If I pull the gun out, it's going to cause the cops to come here, right? Staff only. Ah, da, 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 da. Desperate. 
All right. Just take it easy. Listen, I'm really sorry. But you have to get down on the floor. Take whatever you want. Just Damn don't it. kill me. So we could have took one item and got away with it. Carl, what are you doing? You can't do that. It's wrong. It's going to be all right, Alice. Oh, no, Alice. Alice. Come on. Get out of here. Wait, let's get the money. Get the money, get the money, get the money, get the money, get the money. We might need it. Come on, let's go. Come on. Fuck. Okay, we're definitely not. Stole it? Stealing is bad, Carl. Why did you do that? I had no choice. It was the only way, Alice. Damn it. We'll get on a good side if we go to the motel, but... Damn. I'm going to go to the, the abandoned place, because if we do go to the motel, I guarantee there's going to be cops. Like, going to be at the store. Maybe ask at the motel. Are you all right? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Find a way in. Let's take a look first, because there might already be some people in there. Actually, let's try the door. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. Look, I'm an android too. We have nothing to be afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look, what they did to Ralph. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can Damn. stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. We'll just stay the night. Come on. Come. Come, come on. This way. I don't know Ralph's now. Since he ran away. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time to time, but, you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> don't know. Did we make the right decision staying here now? He might try and kill us in her sleep. You can make 
yourself at home here. Well, my decisions have not been the best so far. Ralph is going to go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. It's just for one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Right. Let's see where you can sleep. Sit down and I'll start a fire. Okay. On paper. Just try and find something to to sleep on. Place bed near fireplace. need to get some wood now some matches question is is what's he doing in the other room oh god he's writing all this ra9 stuff I'm freaked out by this guy. He's writing alive in RA9 as well. How do I know that we're not going to go to sleep in a minute and he, we're going to wake up with him holding a knife to my throat? Much, but at least you'll be warm. Can we give her the teddy? I don't think I can. I guess we'll just talk to her. Why didn't he ever love me? Oh boy. Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? Oh. Leave me right. Promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. Oh. You've got to 
Look what I've got for you. Thanks. Damn.